All right, you guys want to see something cool with Inventor? Check this out. What this is is a skeleton that is made up of 2D and 3D sketches along with some work points. Now, this skeleton is representing a screen enclosure that I'm designing for a project. Now, what's a screen enclosure, you might ask? Well, a screen enclosure is something that we Floridians like to put over top of our pools to protect us from bugs, uh, and other nasties that are out there in the swamplands that surround our house. Now this particular project has an element of complexity on it that's not something that we see uh, very often at all and that's this arc right here. Now, this arc is being form-fitted to a house roof line, a turret roof line. Now, this is an actual picture of the house that you're seeing here. And the turret looks pretty good. It's got a nice arc or you know it seems like it has a true radius but it really doesn't uh, have a true radius and oh by the way these are actual caves for this pool hand done custom built caves with a nice little slide you gotta love that anyway this particular uh, roof line this turret roof line is not true and it's, it doesn't have a true radius so it, it's not a true arc the blue line is representing what a true arc is and the black line is representing the turret roof line that I acquired using a total station getting some shots. You can see it goes in and out quite a bit so that's another layer of complexity and the third layer of complexity that has this uh, gives us pause for this job is the fact that it's you know in the integration that we have into our screen enclosure this roof plane uh, causes this arc to be a compound arc so it's going up and out at the same time so it's got, you have three kind of pretty unique scenarios that are causing uh, some problems here. Now, we don't have a tube bender, and even if we did, we couldn't really bend our, our shapes because we have some bosses and, and grooves that would be crushed in the bending process. So what we have to do is back cut them. Well, the problem with that is uh, how do you space out your back cuts in order to make it look good and all that. Well, Inventor to the rescue for hit for this because what I've done in this 3D sketch is I've, I've set up the 3D sketch to have uh, to follow this arc using a series of sketch lines that uh, I will rep use to be um, to help me out in fr um, creating the frames using Frame Generator. So speaking of Frame Generator, let's hop on over to the assembly part of it and you can see I've got pretty much all of it done except for this arc. <laughs> Now, here is the cool thing that I love about Frame Generator, and that is the uh, fact that we can use a chain select. I'm going to switch this over to what I need. And uh, if I right click here, you see it's got a multi select, chain select, and ch sketch select. I'm going to do the chain select because what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to select all these lines that are chain linked together essentially in one selection and it's going to create separate pieces of at, in frame generator for me which is awesome because that's what I need to be shown because that way I can calculate the the distances and the placements of these back cuts so I'm going to do some quick rotation here so you guys don't have to watch me do this on the screen okay I'm back and basically what I did is just rotated it so that these uh, grooves line up with these grooves for our pieces. This is how we attach our screen. Anyway, you can see it's got a nice shape to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, accept the defaults, plop that in there. And now I can tell exactly how far of a spacing. Now I've already done this a couple times through trial and error. I've determined that about every 5 inches or 7 inches is where I want these members to be placed and that gives me the perfect uh, back cutting uh, ability and then from here I can go ahead and do a trim to face command to get the actual cut angle on that right there so let's do that let that get cut and there you have it rotate that around now I'm now I have the the compound angle that I need as well as the the distance to be these back cuts need to be placed around this arc or this pseudo arc 
and all done within Frame Generator using uh, skeletal modeling. I tell you, I don't know how I would have done it without a total station and, and uh, inventors using with Frame Generator. So just something cool that I thought I would showcase and hopefully you guys got a good kick out of it like I did.